1992, Jack Horner, curator of paleontology at the Museum of the Rockies, led an expedition to Mongolia to visit the Flaming Cliffs, the site where the first dinosaur eggs were found. We also visited other sites shown here. Here is Jack in Tiananmen Square in Beijing when Kublai Khan, grandson of Genghis Khan, conquered China, he moved the capital of his empire to what is now known as Beijing, our first glimpse of Genghis Khan territory. We had then had the fun of walking on the Great Wall of China. It was built to protect the country from the various nomadic tribes and was about 9,000 miles long at the time of the Khans. However, Kublai Khan went around it when conquering China. After several days in Beijing, we flew to Ulaanbaatar, the present capital of Mongolia, where we spent several days going to a nightclub, visiting the Mongolian Stock Exchange. It was open two afternoons a week, and of course, we visited the Dinosaur Museum. Here in the museum is Jack with Mongolia's foremost paleontologist, Dr. Barsvold. He will be our guide in the Gobi Desert and help us to find fossils. When he retired, one of Jack's doctoral students replaced him. And here are some dinosaur eggs from Mongolia. Jack was the first person to find dinosaur eggs in the Western Hemisphere, and he had some on display. So we already knew what dinosaur eggs looked like, but it was fun seeing the Mongolian eggs. We also visited the head Buddhist monk in Mongolia before heading out for our adventure in the Gobi Desert. Each of us received a blessing from him, and here is Jack receiving his blessing. We later visited the Buddhist former headquarters in Karakuram. We then flew to a camp in the Gobi Desert where our transportation was waiting for us. We flew on Mongolian Airlines, and the pilot thought one of our group was cute and let her fly the plane for a while. <laughs> that is Jack in the red and me in the blue. Oh, the camels were a photo op. Here are the Russian-made jeeps. Our trip was delayed one year while gasoline was being accumulated for our trip. The drivers were excellent. They not only drove the car, but they also repaired it when it was broken. And here is our camp. We went, we set up the camp about a mile from the Flaming Cliffs so as to avoid contaminating the site. You can see the Flaming Cliffs in the background. Some of us would walk, some of us would ride, Notice, no grass. And here is one, oh, and uh, you might be, oh, where did that come from? <laughs> uh, here's a close-up of the camp showing uh, the two-person tents. It was excellent. And you might be wondering why this is called the Flaming Cliffs. Well, here I am wearing my fossil hunting clothes and standing on the Flaming Cliffs. And I think that you can see that the name is very appropriate. Here is one of my favorite pictures. We were instructed to spread out and look for fossils. And if we found one, put a ring of rocks around it and get Jack or Barsvold to tell us what it was we found you can see that the wind was blowing. And here is Jack examining a find. It was a protoceratops. Picture a pig with a shield, and you'll get a good idea of what it looked like. Notice also the hat Jack is wearing. He wore his Mongolian hat for the t entire trip. And wow, we found a dinosaur egg. The coke marks the spot. To me, it was surprising we were able to find fossils when so many people had already gone over the area. It shows that the wind and the rain 
continue to uncover additional fossils. We had wonderful entertainment at night. A bus came to our camp with musicians and dancing girls. The performers were very good and, as you can see, had beautiful costumes. Even in the Gobi, we had entertainment. Jack here is taking a picture of the wall surrounding a monastery built about 1585 on the ruins of Karakoram, which in 1220, Genghis Khan had made the capital of his empire. On the wall are 108 stupas. And here are members of our groups wandering around the grounds. Behind them, you see the golden stupa and the wall surrounding the area. A stupa is a hemispherical construction containing relics, often the remains of Buddhist monks. Here in the area that Genghis Khan made his capital, we found this stone turtle from the time of Genghis Khan. So we declared our search for dinosaurs and Genghis Khan a great success and returned home. And then, after returning home, something wonderful happened. Several blocks from my house, the real Genghis Khan appeared. The Museum of the Rockies opened its latest exhibit, the real Genghis Khan, and here he is until December 29. <laughs>